reviews. Reviews. Your, yours crackles a bit more. Don't know. Right, dude. Mind out for the three wheeler. Hey guys, hope everyone's okay and if you're in the UK, I hope you're enjoying this glorious weather. It's Sunday and it's pretty much as nice as it was uh, yesterday, which is pretty rare in the UK <laughs> this time of year to have uh, two lovely days together. Right guys, I've got Wags behind on his 1200S Monster 2017 stroke 2018 same as mine I did pop to Jakarta yesterday to see the guys because they had the road show on uh, I was with a nice guy uh, that I'd met through YouTube called Danny on his 821 and my mate Daz on his CB1000 but Wags and I have just been released from our uh, other halves for an hour just to get out for a little ride so we've just made the most of it so we're going to go to Jakarta have a drink probably we'll only be out about an hour and a bit if that Wags is monster has got the SC Project conical carbon pipe on it so we're intrigued to see the difference Wags is burning <laughs> his bike's already run in he's had a running in service so he can give it full beans and I'm using about half the revs so not to worry as I said, this bike's still quick. Whether you're giving it the full beans or not. And also, Wags has got fitted the Rizoma bar end mirrors. And that is the only thing that I'll probably do to mine that I haven't done to mine so far. I'd have to have a swap over. I don't know if we'll get time on, uh, on this ride, but if we can have a swap, I can test out his mirrors and see what I think. He says they're good, so yeah. I could give him a give them a bash and if they are good I'll probably get rid of these because I just as I said I'm happy with these mirrors but I like to look at bar ends as long as they actually work so we shall see I'll have to have a go on a WAGS 1200S uh, riding this yesterday I did about 100 miles I've now done 355 so I'm getting there the kit is a really bad false neutral between fifth and no sorry between fourth and fifth and even if i bang it bang up through the gearbox you know quite quite firmly it's still yeah it's still i'm going home to kakai yesterday and i went run i just hit a false neutral thinking ah all you do just bang it i always pull the clutch in uh, and do that and bang it up the gearbox and it's fine but it's, it, it will do that till it's run in. They, my 959 did it. That just seems to be a characteristic of the bike when they're not done and had their running in service. So yeah, Bags' bike is pretty much the same as mine. It's got some Evotech crash bars. I'm not sure, I think they're called crash bars. I might go for those at some point. They're quite expensive, but it's got those fitted. It's got his pipe. As you can see and his bar ends he's got different uh, brake reservoir caps to me I think he might have Rizoma ones not 100% sure not 100% sure so we're just going to say hello to the guys at Jakati like we did yesterday went to the pub for some grub yesterday it's a lovely day. There's a few showers around today, but hopefully 
we won't get caught in any it's a red tail kite there you'll just chat about this bike ready and just uh, as I'm getting on with it done my 350 odd miles uh, pretty faultless a couple of things I've noticed when you get above I don't know say 50 60 the screen the, the fly screen starts vibrating but with a bike with a twin engine like this <coughs> so vibey you, you're not going to really be able to stop that and I did a quite a long run out the other day was it yesterday ah wanks has gone he done me yeah I did about 100 miles yesterday I did sort of 50 miles in a, a, a stretch and started to get my feet were starting to get a bit numb and I think it's because the vibrations come in well I know it's the vibrations through the foot pegs my S1000R did the same thing but actually that, that was a lot worse and that had more vibration through the handlebars someone said the other day they tested this bike they said there's a lot of vibration through the seat but I can't feel any that's not the problem so the only thing I've noticed is so the screen vibrates a little bit but that doesn't matter I mean as in the fly screen and a bit of vibration through my uh, through my feet through the pegs but it's nothing to worry about and I, I was nailing it a little bit yesterday and I did have a bit of a did have a little bit of a head shake like that but as I got a steering damper not enough for you to pull your pants but I just gave it a bit and the front went a little bit light and it just shook his head a little bit but it did that when I borrowed one before the demo bike did that but I, I don't know how far that shake would go if it could cause a problem I don't know as I said steering damper is 500 quid and there's not much you can do about it having a little head shake yo man you right? pipe's good your pipe's good sound the same do it louder <laughs> I think Wags his pipe is a bit louder I think he's yeah he's left the baffles in his pipe he hasn't taken the baffles out and I've left the baffles in this but <laughs> this is quite loud As I said before, I think. Oh, oh yeah. that's a nice the oh, the old E type. Three five five Berlinetta. <laughs> old spider. I don't think they called it a spider in those days. I think they called it a spider from the 360 onwards. Monsters. Right, let's head to Ducati and have a little look, see who's there. A couple of good guys, they yesterday they come up and recognised me, it's quite funny. Oh guys, just to mention, sorry about the last video that I was supposed to do with my bro. Uh, some people had a bit of a bit of a skits attack because I didn't have a proper ride out with Gaz and it was just to work them back. But the, t the tight it was, my bike meets his bike. It wasn't like some crazy road test comparison, but it did go a bit wrong. So soon get him out for another ride. I'll get Wags to come by me. Yeah, he's cracking and popping. He's cracking and popping. There's a bad pothole here somewhere. 
there it is, just on the exit of that bend. I remember it from the other day. It's the first time I've been out for a ride at Wags with the Monster Boys. Oh, potholes. <laughs> I used to get used to this bike. You start to get used to bike, you're hanging off it a bit. Here, as I just proved then, you go in a corner, giving it a bit into a corner, and there's a bloody pothole with the, on the exit of the corner. It's like, oh, that's not good. That's why in Spain, we don't have any of those problems at all. We get like the odd rock in the road, but nothing like what you get here. So yeah, it just I know these roads, I knew there was a pothole there. Wags missed it, so he was fine. Yo, look you go, dude. Damn, you can get up to some serious speeds on these, even just by using half the revs. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Right, it's cut in about about five minutes or less. Yeah, Wag's pipe looks good. If I hadn't got a good deal with this pipe on this bike, that's the pipe I would have got. Anyone thinking of getting a pipe on their monster, do a look at SC Project. I'll put, a, I'll put a link to their website in the description, but they're way cheaper than the Termis. I like my Termi, but the price of that pipe that tail but probably was half of what this was but because I got such a good deal I went for the termy but yeah do check out SC Project you can they do carbon titanium they do one for that it's a MotoGP derived pipe but it's like bonkers little stocky little chunky thing and there's no baffles in it at all and I reckon that would drive you insane I think that'd be so loud I think it'd blow your eardrums up so I think what Wags has done is spot on. He's got high standards like me. He's got a pipe that looks good, saves weight, and he can take the baffles out if he wants to, and he hasn't yet, as he said, but he probably will at some point. I don't know. I'll probably take mine out as well. We'll have a comparison of the bikes with the baffles out to see what the noise difference is. But this was remapped with a key that came from Ducati. I don't know if Wags has to change his fueling or get it remapped. I don't think it, he has to. It says on the website that you don't have to, but I don't know. Not 100% sure. <laughs> There's Jolly Boy. <laughs> Mate, that bend, the second one of those sharp ones, there's a pothole in the exit of the bend. So dangerous. I took us the sort of best way I could think to come here. You're quite loud, do you know how loud that is? It's quite loud, is it? Yeah. Oh, where's Wags? There he is. He's fueled it up. <coughs> Just saying, like Wags' pipe, you can see more of the wheel than on mine. It's good. 
About 14 quid to fill up, aren't they normally? No, I've done a tracking job. You might have to actually ride it for a couple of days and get used to it. <laughs> Pardon me. Oh man, yeah, your tank bag's really good. Yeah, I love it. That sits there perfectly, you see how it's up. I might have to get one of them. SW Motec. Yeah, I like that. Saved me getting my tank wrapped and use the other one. It's not, yeah, it's big enough for your bits and pieces. Ah, uh, and wags. Yeah, his uh, sat nav goes on there, so that's good. Although my camera on mine is there, so yeah, that won't work. Maybe I'll ditch that camera when we get a Spain and just have one looking, looking from there. But yeah, his mirrors are brilliant. Yeah, they're good. I have to have a go when we've got time. Yeah, they're spot on. I like them. Yep, yeah, I think I've decided. It's got his little levers. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll have to. I think those mirrors have done it for me now. Quite a nice well. I can also ride with them like that. So for loading the van in Spain, you can fold them up. They look real nice like that. But you get more view, but, but so that takes the place of the bar end, yeah. So you take the bar end out, and it just that just screws in. No, that's that's the rhizome bar end. Yeah. yeah, that's what I mean. So you take those off, yeah. and then that just goes in like that, and that is the bar end with a mirror. Perfect. I like your tank bag as well. Give me some new little ideas now. Nice. Cool man. Colour coding. Oh, I can't get them on their own, I've got to get two. They only sell them in pairs, 90 quid. How much? 90. <laughs> Guess how much mine will cost. They might look a bit cheap. They look the, they look the same. Yeah, but. Guess how much? Uh, oh, 50, 60, oh, 70. 15. What? 15. Can you get a black one? I might get a black one for there. I've got to buy them. And then one round the other. Yeah, the few that's got one there, Oh. Oh man, you're my like little guide to know what to do now. <laughs> do you want to go back the same way or what? Uh, <coughs> or? Ah. Uh, we've only got M11 up here. Yeah. One bit we did, we'll cut through on another road. Right, I sort of know a, a shorter way than going out right out to Orwell. Do you want to go a shorter way? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Yeah, wag spike is loud. Ah, <laughs> oh, you in sport mode? Ah, you fool. I like mine in black. I like the screen in black. I left it like that. Yeah, you can set it to night mode, look, night mode the whole time. Yeah, it's quite nice, right? Yeah. Rev yours. Real, your, yours crackles a bit more. Did I? Right, dude. Mind out for the three wheeler. Yeah, Wags bikes, just a different tone. Oh, 
Oh, stop, flashing indicator. Ducati, please, can you develop self-cancelling indicators? KTM, do it on some of their bikes. Please, can you do it on these Ducatis? Because I'm such a muppet, I always leave my indicator on. Right, so, Beamer Wags is brilliant. I love his Rizoma mirrors. I think I might have to get some. Yeah, I think it gives it a far meaner look. Definitely. And his tank bag as well. We're not going to Spain yet, so it's fine. But I'll have to, uh, yeah, invest in that tank bag, no question. It's got, it's got an engine and oil uh, filler plug cap as well in red. It looks good. I might have to get some links to some different things. See, it's great. I thought, you know, I know about bikes and I've done this, but being around wags on his bike, it's given me some good ideas. Oh, it is indicator on. Pothole. Ooh. Pothole. Council should be out filling up the potholes now. guys we're heading home because I'm halfway through doing the most boring job I do all year I am pressure washing my patio oh my god it does my brain in I'm halfway there we had a sleepover with about seven kids because my eldest was 14 yesterday so uh, yeah I've been tidying the house just said to my other half I'll be out I'll be out an hour which we've been about an hour not not that long but we couldn't resist coming out for a little run ah and wags he did actually persuade me to uh yeah come out it was all his fault if my other half wants to uh, have a go at me i'll uh, i'll just blame him it's fine <laughs> so it's his fault uh wags is interested in another helmet the same as what my bro's got rx7 b r i've completely forgotten whatever it is uh we did try one on in there. It was a uh, well. I'll add a picture to this vid now. That's a lid that they had at Ducati. It's really cool. It was uh, it was the wrong size for Wags, but I just think bling lids are, are the way forward. They're they're really cool. So I'm reluctant to change from the AGV because every every single arrow I've tried on always just doesn't quite fit right i think i've got a funny shaped head or something yeah i don't know i don't know anyway so yeah he's looking into a new lid he's got a rev arrow is it a rebel or chase no a rebel i think that's the arrow that's designed for naked bikes i think something like that anyway but yeah so he uh, he may be changing his lid at some point it's always the way with lids they're just and a good a good, a good arrow is about five six hundred quid and if the lid at stroke helmet you've got already fits you fine and isn't uh, really really old then it's a lot of money to change to something when the one you've got so it's still okay nearly at 400 miles when i get home Oh, these road surfaces are terrible. In the words of my bro, let it rip, potato chip. Ah, 
time I'd have this bike. It's so talky this engine. Whoa! So yeah, it's good to have a comparison uh, with another pipe with these bikes just to see what the difference is we'll do a baffles out video at some point as well stuck out then quickly I'm not sure how easy it is to take the baffles out of my pipe Speed camera, hiding in the tree. <laughs> hey, it's the Scooter Boys. The Scooter Gang. Love those houses there. One still for sale at 1.7 million or something. A ridiculous. Can't remember. Right, third gear, 4,000 revs. to 5,000 revs, holy shiloonies, this bike is fast, not as fast as some bikes, I completely know that, but as I said with the V4, people were having a go at me that I was complaining about the power, but I didn't mean that, I meant there's got to be some kind of limit to how much power you need on a road bike. It's good, like with this bike, I can give this beans when it's running, I can, you know, I can use the power. But some of the V4, you're just getting to ridiculous speeds so quickly. I think people are like, it's just, it's a bit of willy waving, I think. Ah, my bike's got 200 horsepower, yours is going to get 150. Uh, yeah, who cares? It's just, I don't know, people get a bit obsessed, but, uh, whatever. Whatever, whatever mate, whatever. But the V4, I, I would, I'd would have a V4, no question. Right, let's destroy this car. If there's nothing coming, still can't see down the hill. Still can't see, still can't see, can now. When we were kids, my dad used to come really fast down here. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, we used to love it in the car. We used to stand up on the back seat and not have our heads out of the sunroof. That was like in the late 70s. And there was not even any seatbelts in the back of a car. <laughs> it's really bad. But, yeah, we survived to tell the tale. Wags is going straight on. Oh, good man, yeah. Oh, neutral. Yo, you go straight on, won't you? Yeah, I'll go that way. That's good. What? Mate, that's still doing, that's fun doing that, so it's good. Yeah. Alright dude, text me later. There goes Wags. Wags said, and he's right. Oh, cheers. 
he said we'll soon be in Spain and he's right not long now five weeks to go or something like that six weeks uh, th even that little ride out we just did there are potholes and stuff but do you know what it was a bit of fun we've only been out an hour and I'm nearly tipping 400 miles so <laughs> I'm getting out when I can but seeing this bike has inspired me to, as I said to change these mirrors alright guys time to sign out hope you enjoyed this vid it was a bit of a last minute vid because I didn't know Wags was going to come out today and I thought we could compare e e tailpipes uh, to see what we both think as I said check out SC Project uh, the pipes are good value and they're brilliant the quality is superb and his is a uh, car carbon conical or conical carbon something like that anyway I'll try and find it, the exact one he's got, and I'll put a link in the description. That's a better idea, perhaps. If you've got a monster, check it out. It was loud, but not much louder than this. This might have a deeper tone. He's had more of a raspy, sort of, I don't know, just a little bit of a different tone. So, yeah, check it out, guys. See what you think. And go from there. All right, guys. Take it easy, and I hope to see you in the next vid. Well, no, I will see you in the next vid. And I'm hoping it'll be with my bro on his KTM Super Duke. As it went a bit wrong our last video. Uh, yeah, alright guys. Take it easy and I'll see you next time. Cheers.